Monster Hunter Rise was released on Steam on 13 January 2022 and I bought it not long after that. I tried it for maybe 2 hours and dropped it since then. Long story short, I picked the game up in December 2022. I played it for 10 hours and now my playtime hours for the game are... 85 hours what happened why didn't i like it back then and is monster hunter rise worth playing in 2023 so yes i didn't enjoy monster hunter rise back then i found it repetitive and the story isn't captivating enough for me to be interested in playing it more my experience with monster hunter games was back when i was playing monster hunter freedom unite on psp i literally stopped playing when i met t-rex a scary looking dragon who will crawl and charge really fast at you and deal massive amount of damage. It was so scary. Then I played Monster Hunter World on PC. I spent some hours in the game but still feel kind of the same, repetitive and not captivated by the story. The same thing also happened with the newest title, Monster Hunter Rise. So why do I decide to give Monster Hunter Rise another chance? It's all thanks to Elden Ring a game made by the creator of Dark Souls and known for its unforgiving combat. Elden Ring is nowhere close to what game that I enjoyed playing, but damn, I'm glad that I played it. It unlocks something in me and I enjoy it a lot. I also made the video about it and you can check it if you want to. With deep lore and satisfying combat and a fun multiplayer experience, I need something that is close to what Elden Ring offers. That's when Monster Hunter Rise came to my mind, a game where you slay monsters doing boss fights to get their materials and craft weapons and armors from the materials. You can do it solo with your dog and cat or multiplayer with random people. It's basically an Elden Ring light where in Elden Ring you use spirit summons for solo and summon other players if you want to do multiplayer boss fights. I named my character Ronald McDonald, <laughs> my dog as Big Mac and my cat as Oreo McFlurry. Together we are going to slay monsters and build the biggest fast food chains in the world with their meat. Monster Hunter Rise is indeed repetitive but damn the combat is satisfying. There's a lot of weapons for you to pick with different playstyle, but I love to use the longsword. Using longsword feels like you are playing as a badass samurai and the combos are relatively easy to land to, not only dealing a good amount of damage, but with longsword you will be able to easily dodge attacks. It's such a versatile weapon in my opinion. Playing multiplayer are also surprisingly fun. There's also a voice chat feature and text feature. Sometimes you will find someone who using their mic but often people just focus on battling the monsters. The players that I found are also quite nice. 70% of them will always leave a well played sticker or nice to meet you at the end of the hunt. 20% will just say nothing and move on and 10% of them are the cringe and trolls. For a game where you have to work with each other and if one failed or got destroyed by the monster and make it hard for the team, the community seems nice and not as toxic as online competitive games. I think the reason this happened is because everyone understands that doing multiplayer came with a lot of risks too. Like of course random players with random skills and the HP or health point of the monster itself will be multiplied if someone joined the hunt. So, Everyone know this and if you are being salty or sweaty with other people trying their best but still not enough, then why these salty people not doing it solo with the help of cats and dogs? That's why hunting in Monster Hunter Rise feels relaxing in a way. People here for either a good time doing casual hunt or farming materials for their equipment and I like it a lot to the point that I played it every day for a month now and I feel like I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Whenever I'm playing I'm streaming it on my Twitch and what I like from the community is sometimes someone will check my stream and ask to play together. I like that aspect of this game. Another thing that I love from this game is that you can cut the tails of most of the dragon type monsters in this game. Whoa, I cut the tail, let's go. Cutting the tail in a perfect moment is super satisfying. Also, things like 
turf war where whenever some monsters meet each other they will fight in the most epic way and you can just standing there watching the crazy battle between them they're flying what the f <laughs> also, the base game will be available to play on PC Game Pass on January 20, 2023. So you don't have to buy the full price if you're afraid of you will like the game or not, or if you just want to play the game with your friends. So, is Monster Hunter Rise worth playing in 2023? I did say yes, and like I said, since it's coming to Xbox Game Pass, you can always try the game for a relatively cheap monthly price. What do you think about Monster Hunter Rise and this video? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Consider subscribing to the channel if you like it, and if you enjoy this video, I think you will also enjoy this video that I picked for you. Hope you have a good day, and see you next time. Uh oh, I already did this combo. No! Uh, <laughs> I'm out of stamina, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. Woohoo! Still got it. <laughs>